Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Traditional chip manufacturing requires a large amount of equipment and auxiliary materials. As the birthplace of semiconductors, Europe and the United States have mastered a large number of basic technologies and core patents. Although Japan and South Korea have also performed well, they are trapped in the United States and cannot give China is of great help. After the signing of the tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands, Japan officially announced that it will restrict the shipment of 23 core making equipment. The new regulations will be officially implemented on July 23rd, and the Netherlands also announced that it will start from September 1st. Restricting the shipment of ASML's mid to high end lithography machines. Japan directly lowered the scope of restrictions to 45 nanometers, while the Netherlands can only ship 1980DI equipment for 38 nanometers chip manufacturing. After that, it will become more difficult for China to obtain overseas equipment. R&D Determination Just recently, CETC officials announced good news, breaking through the core technology of ion implanters, and will achieve full coverage of the 28 nanometers process in the future. At present, the most widely used chip in the entire market is 28 nanometers, which will effectively guarantee the maturity of China's integrated circuits. Industrial safety of workmanship. Huawei has completed a breakthrough in 14 nanometers domestic EDA software, combined with SMIC's 14 nanometers process mass production and now combined with CETC's plasma implanter. Can China's chip industry get rid of the stuck neck in Europe and the United States? Huawei's 5 nanometers chip, SMIC's 14 nanometers process, China Micro Semiconductor's 5 nanometers etching machine, etc., fully represent the pinnacle of Chinese semiconductors in various fields. Many Chinese people are also blinded by such data, resulting in excessive he said that he thinks that the dilemma of China's semiconductor industry will be resolved soon. But in fact, this is not the case. China has only achieved top-notch single technology and has not broken through a complete supply chain. In terms of materials and auxiliary materials, we still have to rely on overseas companies, and the most extensive sources are Japan and the Netherlands in the tripartite agreement. After Japan and the Netherlands follow up the new regulations, the restricted scope will be lowered to 45 nanometers. Among the 19 key auxiliary materials for core making, 14 are from Japanese companies, and the market monopoly rate is over 90%. To solve this problem, it is really possible to follow up what the foreign media said, the lithography machine will become scrap iron. Many domestic academicians, such as N.I. Guangnan, have repeatedly called for the focus to be focused on mature technologies, such as 28 nanometers. For China at present, the most missing technology lies in the manufacturing level, which involves complex equipment and extremely high-tech auxiliary technology. The conclusion given by the academician is that only by accelerating the breakthrough of mature technology can the difficulties brought about by industrial development be alleviated. Now the vision of academician N.I. Guangnan is being realized, and good news has come from CETC. At present, the localization of the ion implanter has been realized, 
and the full coverage of the 28 nanometer process has been realized and the acceleration of million electron volt high energy ions has been realized. The independent controllability of the full spectrum of medium beam, large beam, high energy and third generation semiconductors is not inferior to the international top level in terms of performance comparison. The ion implanter plays a key role in the molding process. By injecting ions into the semiconductor material to change its electrical properties, the semiconductor material can be fully modified by ion doping, area masking, impurity activation, and dopant concentration control. Performance regulation and device structure fabrication CETC was established in 2002. After decades of research, it completed a breakthrough in the 12-inch medium beam ion implanter in 2014 and achieved full-spectrum product coverage in 2021. Recently, the technology has been improved to a higher level, realizing the full coverage of the 28 nanometers process helping domestic chips to get rid of overseas dependence and greatly reducing the cost of core manufacturing. Prospects for the development of semiconductors in China Under the implementation of the US chip rules, China has laid out a completely independent industrial system and the purpose of the Biden team is not to defeat Chinese companies, but to limit their technology to a certain range so that they can be better. Help U.S. companies capture market share After the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands signed the tripartite agreement, Japan and the Netherlands successively announced the specific implementation time of the new regulations, while American companies were lifted from the ban and allowed to ship products in the Chinese market to go further, and Japan wanted to lift the ban instead he became the bad guy. The manipulation of the whole process also allowed China to fully see the face of the United States. Interests are always put first. There is no so-called international cooperation at all. The atmosphere of globalization has collapsed. A reliable, fully autonomous system must take shape. With the development of the Internet of Things, smart cars and other industries, the demand for 28 nanometers chips continues to rise, and the market potential has already surpassed 7 nanometers and below technologies. What do you think about breaking the technology monopoly of Europe and the United States? If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it. Welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.